KM4YB and today I just just decided to go ahead and make a video on uh, another operation of parts that I use for the uh, Morse code hand sending keys that I make and today we're making crowns uh, these are the parts that go on my weights and the top of the uh, stanchions that go and uh, secure down on the post the stanchions for the various contacts and other other things and we're going to feature a um, geometric die head it's a the thread cutting die head that quick releases as you're finished you don't have to back off and reverse with this head and I'm also going to show the stations and another neat little tool it's called a box tool right here I have one out and you can see there's a cutter that's set up this is for another size and basically it repeats the same cut and as you will witness you'll see how this uh, this little operation will go on there's the knurling head that I used to put the knurls on so I'm doing this holding the camera with one hand as I'm operating uh, the turret here. So, so we first we pull on the puller. I have a collet release here. Brings the stock out. Now I pull the puller off. This sets the depth of my overall length, which is about a half an inch. And I start the machine. Now, in comes the head. Now I have it set up for what's called a bump stop activator. This little knot hits the parting blade that I have here. It's going to gauge the hump when to stop and reopen up the dies to release the part so there it is threaded done now I start a part so I know not to go and over travel with the curling head done back off Now I go to part. <laughs> Alright, and that's it. Now, in another operation, another setup, I take care of that little nub there and then I put a bevel uh, on it and uh, then it's done and that's, uh, this is how I make what we call crown or keepers for the keys and I make this a short little video and give you another, another demonstration how parts are made at the use of the uh, geometric die head uh, I think it was invented like 80 years ago it's common in use in screw machines and of course turret lathe here so 73, thanks for reviewing.